or complete bikes from 299 massive crash he posted some porn teasing a new bike and then he just laughed Hey everyone, this is Andy from Single Track Magazine, and today is the first broadcast of Single Track News Desk. We will bring you the latest breaking news every week in these videos, so let's get into it. First news is from Cecile Ravenel, commensal rider, who has posted on her Instagram account that she's had a massive crash. She's managed to break her C5 and C6 cervical vertebrae and compacted her D4 and D5 vertebrae. Now we know she's had surgery over in Nice, and she's reported that she'll have to wear a neck brace for several weeks, but has no idea when she'll be back on the bike. So, uh, you know, all our wishes and hopes that she'll get better soon are with her. And, you know, just get back on the bike and, and get riding soon, Cecile. Uh, more news uh, from a rider, comments our rider, is from Anne-Caroline Chausson. Now, a few months ago, she was re-diagnosed with cancer. She had a, she's had surgery already. Three months later, she's back on a bike. This is amazing. This is, this lady is just a superstar in my eyes. And uh, you know, really, really happy that she's back on a bike. Uh, she's gonna kick cancer's ass again. And you know, great, just happy that you'll be okay. Again, healing vibes are with you and see you all soon. More news, this time from Aaron Gwynn. Now, Aaron Gwynn is on the, the intense team now rather than YT and he's already taken part in his first race and that is at Southridge where he managed to win. So that's his first intense win, even before the World Cup circuit started. He's on a uh, intense M29 downhill bike. We do know that his linkages are different from production. He's got some race only linkages in there and I'm sure he'll be playing around with those uh, during the World Cup season too. So watch out for any changes he might bring to his bike. Now, speaking of intense bikes, Intense UK over on Instagram once again have been teasing a new bike and it looks like they're going to release a new Tracer. And now a few years ago, James tested the Tracer for us and that was a carbon fiber bike with 27.5 inch wheels and 165 mil travel out back. The bike in these teasers looks almost the same as that but with different paint. But perhaps it's got a little bit of a geometry tweak. And I believe that what Intense have done is they've looked at the Taser e-bike geometry and they might have pushed that over to the Tracer just to bring them in line with each other. And that will be great news because the Taser is a really, really good bike and the Tracer with the same geo would be insanely good. Okay, more teasers. This time from Johan Barelli, another common style rider. And he has been really naughty. On Instagram, he posted some porn bike porn not you know not him naked so uh, basically what he's done is he's posted a pictures of his new bike which showed off SRAM AXS uh, dropper post SRAM AXS um, wireless uh, gears and also a new Lyric Ultimate fork obviously uh, Yoan has taken those photos down he's reposted the new post but you can just make out on the picture that there's a small chrome sticker under Lyric and that's where it says Ultimate. So we don't know what is different between the Lyric Ultimate and the current top of end Lyric that Ross tested last year, but I believe, and this is coming from me, I believe it's a coil shock, a coil fork. MRP have got them, Formula have got them, and I think Rock Shocks with the Lyric Ultimate now have a coil fork. So something really exciting to look out for. Okay, if we carry on with the, uh, te the, the teaser news, uh, Cannondale downhill rider Matt Simmons has been teasing things on his Instagram with the hashtag Cannondale comeback. Now we already know that Cannondale have kind of reintroduced themselves, they've got Ratboy and the Sessions team, but they're also working on a downhill uh, bike, perhaps even a downhill team, and Matt Simmons is part of that. Now in the picture that we've just posted up, in that pickup truck, you can just make out a Cannondale Jackal and behind that, there's something with Fox 40s on it. And we believe that to be Cannondale's new downhill bike. I'm sure more teasers of that are gonna pop up over time. So keep an eye out for that. And we'll bring more news on Cannondale's downhill bike as we have it. All right, new bikes. Let's talk about Cedric Gracia. Now, Cedric Gracia left um, Santa Cruz earlier this year and talked about being an entrepreneur. We got in touch with Cedric and we asked him, will you be building a new bike brand? And he just laughed, he won't tell us but we believe that he is working on a new bike brand, perhaps with one of his sponsors, perhaps Pro Bike Shop, to either develop new bikes or introduce bikes that are you know, CG branded. We're not 100% sure what he's working on. What we do know for sure is he will be riding for this year. 
He will be using production privy bar and stem, but he won't be riding production privy bike. It'll be an all new bike. Um, yeah, kind of interesting to see where this goes, what, you know, what he's working on, but he is a bit of a, an entrepreneur. He does have his fingers in many different pies. So let's see, let's wait and see. Over to Single Track website itself. We do have news on there also, and uh, news today at 10 a.m. Sheffield-based Airdrop Bikes has released a new version of its Edit full suspension bike. This is version three. It has a whole new tube set, which has a new custom butting inside it. It's a much cleaner looking bike. All the CNC ma machine areas of that bike have been completely redesigned, so they're less likely to get gunked up with mud. It'll be easier to clean. Um, it can be used with either an air shock or a coil shock, a uh, metric trunnion mount, and it uses a shorter offset fork. Now, Airdrop will offer these bikes as a frame only for £999, with an air shock for £1249, coil shock for £1299, or complete bikes from £2999 to £3699, and there's custom options too. Uh, more info over on the Airdrop website where you can pre-order them and delivery is due March, I believe. Over on Single Track Charged, which is our e-bike channel, we've got news of Rocky Mountain's new hardtail EMTB called the Growler Powerplay. And every time I say that, I grin to myself. It's such a great name. So basically, this is a hardtail based on the standard Growler, but it uses um, Rocky Mountain's own Dynami 3.0 drive system and integrated battery. It's an alloy-only bike. It's available in two options. We've got the Alloy 30, which weighs in at 47.4 pounds, and the Alloy 50, which weighs in at a mind-boggling 49.8 pounds. So it's a big, heavy e-bike. Um, only available in the US and Canada, uh, or if you want the Alloy 50, the big battery version, that's only available in Canada. So uh, yeah, interesting non-use there for you guys. And uh, UK-based news. Um, Chris Porter, uh, Mojo Rising Chris Porter, has started a new race series called Mojo Racing. And this is a really cool one. It's based at Bike Park Wales, and it's going to take place on the 28th of March. And basically, it's a chance for kids and adults to race together. So um, there'll be uh, different races for children aged six and up. The races will be held on blue or blue and red runs for the older children. And you'll have to wear either a full face helmet, open face. That's entirely up to you. There will be no uplift, and I think pricing is between 50 and 60 pounds. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be really exciting. I might try and get my son involved in that. Other news on the website, we've got some news from Grit CX. Vitas have a new carbon fiber substance CRX gravel bike available. It costs 1,799 pounds, and it has hydraulic brakes and a one by 11 apex group set. They also still have the uh, steel substance for $949.99 with a uh, two by group set. And breaking news before you go, on Single Track Forum, Charge no longer making bikes. We don't know if this is true. We haven't contacted Charge ourselves, but we can't see why you guys would make things up on a forum. You know, a forum's about truth, isn't it? So basically, um, Master Funk Master P has been in touch with Charge asking for a new cleaver bike and Charge have turned around and said there won't be one and we don't have plans to make any new bikes in the foreseeable future. So that's pretty sad news. Charge look like they've stopped making bikes. We will get in touch and find out if that's right though. Okay, so that was it. That's uh, Single Track uh, News Desk version 1.0. Version 2.0, which might be a bit different, will be here next week. So keep an eye out for that. But before I go... I need to shuffle my papers. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like. <laughs> and, uh, oh, so cheesy. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> and that's it. That's it for the news.